Hi guys. Okay, hi guys. Will you pick that food for me? I'm gonna pick this apple for oh, okay, okay. an apple. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, you might have wondered um, once you picked this food for me today. This video, we're gonna be talking about medicinal plants. You're stepping on one of one of them right now. Not dead. Anyways, uh, so this is um one of them, which I think I may use it as number. Um, one, it's called the manzanillo. Well, this uh, medicinal fruit is actually poisonous, but when you're sick, it's used as a medicine to, uh, I, by the way, I might be wrong, but this is actually used as a medicine, but then it's, 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 it is poison, a poison plant. I uh, gotta watch out and use it in very small doses. This can treat coughs, light cold, and cramping. But this is actually, I shouldn't even be touching, touching this right now. On to number two. As you see, we have some in our yard here, but I'm. It, the bats have closed because they close later because they're open at 6 a.m. if you wake up early and to 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then they close later at 2 p.m. Yeah, so those flowers looks like they're dead, but actually. Um, but actually, where well, they haven't bloomed yet, where well, they're dead, but actually, they'll open later next. They open early morning and, you know, 5 a.m. to like probably 3 p.m. Um, uh, 6, 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. On to number three, the milk crystal. The milk crystal. Guys, this is our backyard. Isn't, yeah, yeah this is the our backyard. wild backyard. Isn't this... Yeah, it's wild. Actually, this is a uh, um, more spiky than the young ones. The young ones are usually less spiky. Uh, oh, oh, ow! Um, I, I, I shouldn't be sure. Look at that. I'm on to number two. And, and, and he also used a, a less spiky piece of milk crystal. Um, guys, I right hear. This is the less spiky piece of milk crystal. And you see, you, this is why it's called the milk thistle. It uses milk to its sap with in its more younger state. Mmm. Wow. And those so are going to be the spikes the when it grows up. Okay. They're going to get bigger and bigger as it grows. Well, then, I, I may, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm number five. Hmm. Okay. I mattered. This is a uh, follow me because it's kind of far away. Gonna follow on and see what its number five looks like. <coughs> Maybe it's the five, but number five, sumac. It's, sumac. It's, this is used to treat coughs, cold, diarrhea, something. Cakes, you know, and it's also used as um, a, a precedent to wake up from coma. You just wrap it on or put it in your mouth, and you'll probably wake up from the coma. But just make sure you do not use poison sumac, guys. This isn't poison sumac. It's uh, it it should be. I think it's. Um, well, it's definitely not smooth sumac, so I I think this is stack one sumac. But guys, we rather rather watch out for desk cameras because it was very really, very really, um, popular in Utah. Okay, okay. The number six. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, um, as you might wonder, guys, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, 
uh, I'm not, uh, I mean, uh, um, morning glory. Um, I, I, yeah, it's really a play, well, it's just a, um, a, to cure white coughs. All you need to do is to turn in the liquid and um, put it in there and then put it in their mouth. That's number seven, dandelion. Have you guys, as you guys m might have wondered, I'm in my seven now. Uh, nope, uh, I just turned eight. Yeah, today. Uh, today's my birthday. But happy birthday, though. So, so make sure uh, you give lots of likes this video. So, uh, the, back to the dandelion. The dandelions actually, I'm, I might not even be holding a dandelion, but uh, at least it looks like a dandelion. So, um, the dandelion uh, is actually edible and medicinal, too. Uh, the, the, well, uh, I mean, that was a quick one. That's number eight. Um, uh, this is it. Quinoa. Quinoa. I may well not be touching it because it the, um, doesn't look like of this. That's but you see, there's some more older quinoa going going right there. Now I'm going to. Avoid touching this plant, but um, it may be like uh, it's actually eight. One we're standing next to is like eight feet tall. Hmm. Yeah. Pro no, probably five feet by now. Uh, no, eight feet tall actually. Yeah, they can go to eight feet. Uh, yeah. And, and number nine. Pooh. As you see, one blooming like now. Mind this blowing. Tree. This is actually a tree. To, if you mistakenly eat a pear when, when you're suffering from a common cold, this may fix, fix you before you know it. Okay, okay, um, a uh, number... Fix your call number before ten. you know. No, number 10. But it's number 10 and last one. See? Uh, it's not the last one. Um, it's there's still last. five more to go. Fifteen. Oh, we have so many varieties. I thought we have 10. No, we don't. So we have 15. We have 15. Um, uh, wheat. It actually may, um, be... The, the flower of it may be put to, to, to stop coming cold like this. So if you eat the dough of pizza while you have a common or pizza while you have a common cold, which is you're lucky if it has with wheat in it because then you you'll, you'll get better in about um about. A day and a day and a half. Okay. N n n n n number one. Um, it's kind of more separate. Let's go for number eleven. Apple go go. This is called apple, apple go go. got two of them. The go-go apple is actually poisonous, so you need to watch out, but but you can sometimes mistake it for the apple, like the manzanilla, but um, it's actually um, hard as rock, because I think this one's uh, kind of unripe, but um, this tree gets up to about um, um, 25 feet tall, as you can see this one, hmm. or maybe yeah, even that's 35, a, I don't know. Yeah, the probably upper broad is 35. is actually a relative in treating burns, blisters, rashes, blindness. Nice. 
What a healthy plant! Like, okay, imagine if you have this in your backyard. This is because it's actually poisonous, so it may make it even worse if you're not careful. Um, okay, I'm uh, moving on to number um twelve. To twelve. Last count, huh? Uh, Nemo. Uh, Nemo was, uh, this isn't a bush, it's actually a tree, but, um, there's all kinds of trees that look like apples, but aren't the same thing in our yard that are, um, this one is about 55 meters tall, Ah, uh, yeah, you're about right. 55 feet but tall. But, uh, I mean, the, um, Nimogoso is actually, uh, of, um, if you put it on your eyes that, eyes that have, are blind, it's actually not poisonous, so it will treat, it will treat the blindness, um, if you put that on there for about 50, Leave it on there for about 15 minutes. It will treat not right away, but like in two days it will be treated. Wow. So that's, um, that's good for your blindness. Okay. Look at this okay, plant. Okay, it's okay, so okay. beautiful. Number 16. I'm still showing our beautiful branches. Alright. Number 13. Apples. This is the little... By the way, this looks just like the manzanilla, which is sometimes mistaken for it. Like, it's sometimes mistaken for the little apple of death, which is actually poisonous, so that's a good thing. But, uh, uh, this, so, this is actually um, a female tree, so it does produce fruit, and its, and its bark is... Well, it won't actually treat you, but um, its bark is another is one that's used for fish poison. So you'll have a better, so you'll have a easier day of catching fish, and this can actually kill some sticky gum. So, um, so actually, it's kind of a helpful one. Helpful tree. All the trees are really helpful and some good stuff. That's we're reaching to the next level of the trees. Okay, okay, okay. Juniper berry. Juniper berry is another one to keep. It's, it's berries are actually used to keep, keep the common cold away. Or if you have it, it's used to tree as well. Yeah, it keeps your common cold away. Juniper is the best tree. Okay, okay, okay. You can yeah, find yeah. that in Utah. Look at those berries. Okay. Number, number 15. Number 15. Okay, number 15 and the last one. Here. Okay, okay, okay. Even though we have more, but yeah. we'll do 15 today. Um, actually, we... I think my mind is 16. I 16th? forgot. 16th? Alright, let's do 16th today. Uh, actually, I, um, I think my mind is 17, Baba. Oh, it's 17. We're discovering so, so many so, awesome plants today. So, 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 so. Let's start it from here. Plum. Plum. It's actually... This is our front yard plum. Um, It's actually a relative of the apple tree we just saw and it's um uh um a relative of treating common cold okay okay treating common cold so um another so medicinal tree we don't think it's going to be with the class this week but look at that money um it's actually used to uh to, uh, to you see that tall and one and not that is on its favorite uh, money tree. The, the leaves are actually used to cure coffee and nausea. Yeah. So, and Nazi. moving on to number, number 17. You haven't added that plant over here. Last, that's a beautiful. Uh, that isn't a medicinal plant. Oh, that's not a medicinal, guys. Uh, okay. So, this is a medicinal plant. This one. An elderberry. Oh, that's an elderberry. Yeah, I forgot about that. Dude, so elderberry many benefits. Elderberries are used to treat common cold. 
Common cold, cough, the berries. and uh, oh, berries. I'm naked yeah. now uh, because Immune I system. just remembered something very important. All right. That, um, Let's move on to Dr. Owen. Nettle tree. What is that again? Stinging nettle tree. Sometimes they can put out of But uh, as you see, um, I'm actually uh, getting some that. That's important. But this is a but well, this is actually a, a female one, so the female ones don't produce fingers, but the males do. So I'm not so luckily I'm not getting stung by the stinging yellow. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that! See this beautiful tree. Yeah. Right in our front yard it has so this much energy. Uh, okay, All right. Hey guys. So there was our 15th, 16th, right? Um, the uh, 18. Okay, we have two more to go. Two more? Oh, those were 18. Oh, all right. Right, guys. So that was our front and backyard with beautiful tree and awesome information. We have a couple of more trees. We don't know the medicinal properties. But we, we know, know we, some of them. Yeah, we know some of them. We'll read more about it and discuss later in the next video. And see you later, alligator. Oni, do you want to say bye? Bye. Okay, Oni says bye. See you, audience. <laughs> Here. Say bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.